Welcome back to the Star Wars RPG tutorial series. Today we will add a lightsaber to the character and make it glow like in the movies. There are some assets needed for this tutorial. You can get these assets from the link in the description. If you haven't watched the first video in the series, I would advise you to do so. However, it's unnecessary if you already have a character up and running. Open the weapons folder we created and right click in the open space. Import the assets. In this case, we need to import the lightsaber hilt and blade. Don't worry about the errors. We will fix those in a bit. The static meshes and some generic materials will be imported into the file. Create a new folder and name it materials. Drag all of the default materials into that folder. Now, we need to fix the colors of the lightsaber hilt. Open the static mesh for the hilt. Click the lightsaber hilt and press F on the keyboard to bring it closer. Open the first default material and let's change the color. I'd like to make it a goldish brown kind of color That looks okay. Click apply and save. The next color is the inside part where the blade comes out. Just make it kind of a darker color. Apply and save. The third color is already black. I think I will just leave it as is. I want to make the last material look like chrome. There are a couple of extra steps. Choose a light gray or silver type base color. Now add a constant and duplicate it so there are two. Connect the first one to the metallic pin and the second one to the roughness. Set the first value to around 0.8. Leave the roughness at zero. Apply and save. I think I would like to add some shininess to the coils. Open the first material and create the two constants. Set the first value to 0.8 like before. Set the roughness to 0.5. Apply and save. There we have it, a new shiny lightsaber. Let's add the color and glow to the lightsaber blade. Open the static mesh for the blade. Click the blade and press F to get a close up. Now open the default material. Change the color to anything you like. I'll change mine to purple since my favorite color is purple. Drag off of the main pin and press the asterisk to add a multiply node. Now, add a second multiply node. Connect it to the base color and emissive color pins. We need to add a constant to the second multiply. This will be our strength modifier. Right click on the node and convert it to a parameter. Name it strength. Set the value to 50. Let's add a time node. Add a multiply node. Next, add another constant and convert it to a parameter. This will be our pulse speed. 
set the value to six. Now we need a sine wave. Add a frac to the sine. Connect the frac to the first multiply. Now we have a pulsing, glowing material, but we can make this better by adding a lerp in between the frac and the multiply. Disconnect the connection between the frac and the lerp by pressing Alt and clicking on the connection pin. Reconnect it to the alpha. Connect the lerp to the multiply node. Set the A value to 5. Now we have a nice looking lightsaber blade material. Apply and save. Go back to the core level folder and open the blueprints folder. Create a new blueprint of type actor and name it BP underscore lightsaber. Open the blueprint and add a static mesh to the scene. Name the mesh lightsaber hilt. Set the static mesh in the details panel to our lightsaber hilt mesh. Add a static mesh as a child of the lightsaber hilt and name it lightsaber blade. Set the static mesh to the lightsaber blade in the details panel. The blade should perfectly align with the hilt. In the details panel, scroll down to the collision presets and change it to no collision for both the lightsaber hilt and the blade. This will keep the character from colliding with the weapon and causing issues. Now we are ready to put the lightsaber in the hand of our character. Close the lightsaber blueprint and go back to the core folder. Open the rigs folder and then open the skeletal mesh for the character. Click the skeleton icon to get to the main skeleton. Search for the right hand bone. Right click the bone and create a socket. Name the socket, weapon socket. Now with the weapon socket highlighted, press the W key to bring up the transform gizmo. Zoom in with the F key and hold the Alt key to move around to get a better look. Move the gizmo into the palm of the hand where the lightsaber would be held. Save and close out the skeleton. Go back and open the X2 blueprint file. Go to the viewport and add a child actor to the X2 mesh. Name it Lightsaber. Set the child actor class in details to BP Lightsaber and the parent socket to the weapon socket. Adjust the saber if it needs to be adjusted. Mine looks pretty good for now. Compile, save, and run the game. There, we have a cool looking lightsaber. It will be even cooler when we make the saber blade activate and retract with sounds. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful 
and enjoyable, please like and subscribe to see more upcoming videos in this series, as well as other useful content.